转变财务职能，提升经营效率，实现业务财务一体化。在联友，我们不用错过每一个有梦想、爱学习的实力派，因为我们坚信，每一颗享受科技。Hello, everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Gao Chunyu. I'm Peng Zhuo. Now we are in Dalian, a beautiful city in Liaoning Province, northeast of China. Here, China International Software and Information Service Fair, for short, the CISIS Fair, is scheduled for June 15th to 18th, celebrating its 15th anniversary. This year, with the theme of new IT, new ecosystem, and new enablers, CISIS Fair will show new industries, new enterprises, and new fairs. Now, follow us to take a short tour around this fair. Our first stop is here. The exhibition booth of New Soft Company. Now, the lady that stands by my side is Wang Yan Hong, employee of the branding and marketing center of this company. Hello, Yan Hong. Hello, welcome to New Soft Booth. Okay, so uh, could you introduce us something about uh, New Soft, this company? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Newsoft is a leading IT solution and service company, and we provide uh, innovative uh, IT-enabled so, uh, solutions and services uh, to meet demands arising from social transformation and uh, to shape new lifestyles for individuals and to uh, create value for the society. And today, Newsoft has about 20,000 employees uh, around the world. In China, we have eight regional headquarters and, and ten uh, software R&D bases and a comprehensive marketing and service network in over 60 cities in China. And we also have overseas subsidiaries uh, in United States, in Japan, in Europe, and uh, uh, South Africa and Middle East. And our business, after 25 years development, now spread across uh, um, over 20 industries uh, and uh, serve uh, customers globally. Okay, this way, please, uh, I will introduce our uh, medical and healthcare uh, business to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, New Software has uh, built a complete ecosystem in the big health industry. And we started in the social security area and provide uh, overall IT solution and the services for uh, uh, for medical insurance. And uh, we provide the information system for hospitals uh, like uh, his, lease, and PAX, uh, etc., to support the excellent operation and management of those hospitals. Also, we support the government in the public health uh, administration. And uh, we have a cloud hospital, uh, which provides a full life cycle health management services. And also, we are leading manufacturing of the medical equipment. And Newsoft has developed China's first CT scanner with the independent intellectual property. And uh, the medical equipments we produced today include uh, CT, MRI, uh, X ray, and the ultrasound, and PASS. And they have been exported to over 100 countries and regions around the world and serve more than 9,000 customers. And this product, as you can see here, it's a smart medical, uh, uh, smart devices for medical use. It can be put at the entrance of a clinic, or uh, at the nurse station, or at the clinical uh, uh, laboratory. And the people can use these uh, devices to uh, make a payment, self-registration, recharge, or information inquiry. Uh, you can see it's very small in size yeah. and it takes uh, very little space yeah. so um, um, it, it can help people to reduce the long time waiting in the queue and uh, uh, to solve the problems uh, in the uh, payment difficulties okay. next uh, i'm going to introduce you our uh, automotive electronics business okay. yeah. um, 
Newsoft has over 20 uh, five years experience in serving global customers in this area. And we have uh, built a uh, um, global R&D network uh, covering China, Germany, uh, Japan, Romania, and the United States uh, to develop the innovative uh, auto uh, automotive electronics products. And uh, uh, our in-vehicle infotainment system has been sold to over 60 countries. And we have uh, uh, 110 domestic and foreign patents uh, in the area of navigation, B2X, uh, advanced driving assistance system, and uh, so on. Also, in the new energy uh, vehicle, we also provide uh, EV traction battery system and intelligent charging system. And also, based on the uh, intelligent charging network of us, we also provide uh, uh, smart mobility services uh, like uh, electric car rental and car sharing services. And also we offer a wide range of uh, software products and platform products. For example, um, Talentbase, our human, uh, human capital management system. Net, uh, NetEye is our network security products. And uh, UB1 is the enterprise smart devices products. And for platform products uh, here, this way please. Yeah. We provide uh, three series of uh, platform products, uh, include the Uni EAP, the bottom layer business uh, platform, and the Saka uh, cloud application platform. And the real site, uh, the big data advanced analytics uh, platform. And uh, finally, our industry solutions. We provide industry solutions for over uh, 20 industries, including uh, telecommunication, energy, finance, e-government, and transportation, and so on. And through these uh, industry solutions, uh, new software helps to improve people's livelihood and uh, contributes to the informationization uh, pro progress of uh, China. And uh, uh, with uh, beyond technology as our business philosophy, uh, new software respects people uh, and uh, contributes to the social development. Uh, we are dedicated to becoming a company that's well recognized and uh, um, respected by the employees, customers, shareholders, and the society. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Yan Hong. Thank you for your uh, professional introduction. And now we know that NewSoft, the products of NewSoft uh, cover a um, very wide range, right? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. See you next You're time. So, yeah. Now from here, we are going to the uh, booth of HCLR Technology Company. So follow me. Hello, Dr. Li Yang. Hello. Say hello to our audience from all over the world. Uh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, as an algorithm engineer, could you uh, show us the surprises of HCLR? Oh, okay. Uh, no, our, com our, our company is basically uh, doing uh, Visual Slam. Uh, Visual Slam is a kind of uh, a set of algorithms that allow uh, the robots to uh, find their positions in the environment, uh, uh, which is very uh, important for no robot navigation. Okay, let's just look at our uh, vehicle. Okay, this is uh, our vehicle. That uh, this is just a demo that we want to show that the, our algorithm really works. Now we have installed the SLAM system on this uh, small car that. Uh, 
which provide uh, this car with, with his position and the directions. Uh, this allowed the car to navigate through this uh, entire map. This is very important for robot navigation. Okay. Now let's uh, look at uh, the screen. Uh, I'll show the details of the uh, algorithm. Uh, now you can see that uh, uh, there's a camera in front of the, this vehicle, and this this figure shows the uh, this figure shows the vision of the uh, the small car, and uh, uh, we just uh, extract some small uh, features from the vision uh, from from this uh, fi figure, and uh, we construct a three-dimensional uh, map like this. You can see that uh, this. This is something like a, a 3D uh, CD map, and uh, the map is represented by a, a point cloud. And uh, this is our camera. We now uh, we now <coughs> plot uh, this this 3D three-dimensional uh, graph to this two-dimensional map. You can see that uh, this perfectly re represents uh, this uh, uh, small cubic, and now. If we show a destination, the car can perfectly navigate to the place. Now the car is moved like that. Uh, there are numerous applications for our, our uh, system. For example, uh, basically uh, our algorithm is designed for robot navigation. Uh, for example, if you have a if you have a robot in your room, uh, you, you are, uh, you are in, in your bedroom, and you want to get a cup of coffee, uh, and you want to, your robot to do this for you. And uh, so the robot, to do this, the robot might need to go to the kitchen and uh, get them a cup of coffee, and uh, return to your bedroom, and uh, give the coffee to you. So without knowing the exact uh, position of the robot and the direction of the robot, you can do this. This is the, it's like uh, the big fundamental for all the applications that are based on navigation. So this, uh, this is what I'm, we are doing. We are creating a fundamental for robot navigation. Thank you. Hola. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Li Yang. Thank you for your professional introduction. Thank you. Oh. See you next time. So from here now we are heading to our next stop, the stand of uh, Pectera. So now we are here, let's check what's going on here in this stand of the company Petero.
This year, Sisi's Fair features comprehensive review of the new IT and services and multidimensional discussions aiming to discover the path to new industrial ecosystems and the, and the new driving forces of economic growth. So now alongside we can see uh, many positions of some Chinese companies. Uh, this time not only Chinese enterprises but also uh, some foreign startups and uh, companies participate in this fair. Follow me. Now we arrived at the area of international cooperation, so let's discover more secrets of this fair. This is Kevin from Zimbabwe. Three years ago he came to China and he opened up his office here. Hello Kevin, say hello to our audience. How are you? How are you guys? Uh, so, could you introduce us uh, something about your studio? Oh, my studio. This is Prime Effect Studio. And what we do here is we work with a lot of different companies. We create logos for them and we do branding and promoting and marketing. So, what we do is we, we just make the companies look more appealing to the public, right? We make different logos and posters and flyers and different things for like promotion, promotion of events and stuff like that. Yeah. And so what made you decide to open your office here in China? Oh, I love China because there's a lot of different opportunities here. China is really big and there's um, a lot of different cultures here, right? And there's so many people. So I think it's a huge market for us. Yeah. So could you show us something uh, on the computer or some, uh, some works? Okay. Uh, this video here. This video is for I was promoting a, a tour for my friends. There are two DJs. They are touring China right now and they are going to different cities like this. Their name is Blackbusters. They are from Africa too. So they asked me to do a short promotional video for them and this is it. It's very, very beautiful, awesome. Oh, thank work. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you, Kevin. Oh, thank see you, you next time. All right, see you. Now, next station here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? Very good. Should I hold this? Say hello to our audience. Hello, everybody. Uh, great to be here in Dalian. We are New Dynamic Limited, and we have a new website 
in the Academy 8, which is online training, very specialized online training, uh, learning professional English skills for engineers, scientists, IT professionals, and stuff like that. We're going to add lots of courses, so that'll be online very soon uh, in July. And then we have lots of other stuff we're working on too. We have some IT projects. We'd like to cooperate on some music technology and, um, and uh, sensors and other things. So we're really excited to be here. Yeah. Thank you very much. This time, Israel sent uh, many companies here to this fair. So now let's go to find them. Hello, Dr. Rory. Yeah, hi. hi. Say hello to our audience. You want to hold it? No. Just hold it. Can I just hold it? Yeah. Uh, so, could you introduce something about your? Sure. Okay. So, uh, Sereni, we're EcoFusion is a digital medicine company, and what we're producing as the first product is called Serenita, which is a stress management app. What you do, you place your finger on the camera for one minute, you get a reading of your stress level, and then you get re you receive personalized breathing guidance in order to reduce the stress level. This is a very helpful for people with chronic illnesses, the chronic stress, diabetes hypertension, insomnia, and other chronic illnesses. Now, could you show it on your sure. iPhone? Sure, definitely. Let's ask you how to work. Yeah. You place your finger on the camera. I'll show it to you. Shows the interactive relax. Yes, this is uh, the first one minute is it's getting a reading of the of the stress level. Within 20 seconds, we'll get a reading, and after that, there is a breathing guidance in order to reduce the stress level. Ten more seconds. Seven, slightly elevated stress. Now let me breathe. Inhale, hold, exhale. So we can see that the red points uh, go up when we uh, inhale, inhale and uh, hold it's, and exhale it's, when it's going yeah. down. You see it's already 30, 38, we started at 57 or so. So the stress level is going down very significantly, very fast, very quickly. Okay? Yeah. That's the exercise and it's very helpful for people with chronic illnesses yeah. like diabetes, hypertension and similar chronic illnesses. And it's very practical. It's very uh, practical. You cool. download the app called Serenita, yeah. and then you download the app and you subscribe to the service. Especially for the elderly people. Correct, yes. Elderly people, also young people that are stressful at work. It's very useful for them. Okay. 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 Thank um, you very much. Thank you. 
So now it's time for doing some games. Follow me. Well, hello, Sule, director of the Guoshu uh, Technology Company, right? Yes. Nice to meet you. Okay, so uh, could you introduce something about uh, the, these games or your company? Uh, yes, uh, this technology uh, we import from uh, either uh, from either real. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now uh, uh, we uh, now this uh, this is a small uh, a small space. Yeah. Yes, and uh, uh, as, as you see that uh, we can play football here, and yeah. you uh, and the kids uh, can move his uh, can kick um, uh, move move his body here. Uh, in this small room, yes, uh, we we have uh, now we have uh, more than 20 games like this, and now this product is widely used in uh, USA, uh, European, uh, and uh, Southeast Asia. But now uh, we import this technology to China. So I and I think this uh, uh, Chinese uh, now from now we know that uh, Chinese people. Oh, exa exactly the kids like this very much, and uh, uh, for our first customers uh, uh, is McDonald's. Yes, and uh, uh, they have they test our products uh, 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 about uh, six months. Uh, uh, do you know that? Uh, if you want to be a supplier uh, of McDonald's, uh, you must uh, you must be work very hard, and you can get uh, uh, more things. And uh, uh, after the after they uh, text our products, they thought this product is perfect, and so they choose our products. Uh, and uh, 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 this this uh, uh, this so side, this I uh, um, this, this, uh, his uh, kids uh, kids pa. Uh, let me you well, we can have a try. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, is this very hard to control? Wow. Well, it's a little funny. It's very funny, but uh, a little exhausting. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is my first girl here. Now, um, most kids uh, play fo play phone and are watching TV at home, but it's not good for the kids' eyes and not for uh, their body. They um, uh, they need more or uh, they uh, they need more sports and they need to communicate with the, the other kids. Yeah. Uh, this help uh, them to communicate with others. They can play together and they can enjoy this game. So over there is another game, right? Yes. Yes. It's another tab. You can see it here. Yeah. It's so a tell tab. Us how to uh, play this game? Um, it, this is a table uh, table interactive game system. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so uh, we can play it. We can play it on the table. Yes. With, easily. Yeah. Uh, just just with your hands. Just touch. Uh, touch the surface. And uh, uh, you, uh, you can have your game time, and uh, you can choose games easily. This is another game, and now we have more than uh, 200 games here. More than 200 games. Yes, and you know that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Microsoft they have uh, similar products. Uh, name is Kinect. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, the, the, the technology is very good, but they do not have more uh, contents, more games. They, they do not have more games. Yes, and uh, as you know that, if uh, more games, and uh, if you w uh, play, uh, play one game, 10 minutes, you can um, play all day with, uh, you can play different games yeah. all day.
Okay, thank you for your introduction. The games are very funny. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nowadays, more and more Chinese enterprises are playing an important part in the worldwide digital transformation. So let's explore more. So now we are here at the stand of Dalian Infant Bank Company. So, hello. Hello. Hi. Can you speak Chinese, sir? Uh, hi. Uh, I'm from Dalian Infant Bank Company Limited. Oh, uh, can you? Uh, hi, uh, I'm from Dali Infrabank Company Limited. Uh, uh, we are found. Uh, we are. We were founded in, in 2004, and uh, we uh, comprehensively collect uh, trade data uh, uh, from all uh, from all over the world. Uh, in our days, uh, the concept of big data is very popular. In my point of view, our company is a typical company of big data. We specialize in 
uh, trade uh, merchandise trade data or the import or export data. Uh, what the data comes from? Uh, for example, if we uh, import or export uh, goods, we have to pass the uh, customs. Uh, during this process, the data occurs. Uh, we uh, the data uh, includes uh, some very valuable information, uh, like uh, the description of the goods, uh, the price, the quantity, and even the contact information of the uh, of the exporters or importers. So you can see the uh, great value for the commercial use because export exporters can use the data to find uh, importers and uh, the importers can use the data to find uh, exporters and uh, it's also also very important uh, for uh, analyzing the whole market and uh, understanding the market share of of different uh, products uh, uh, so far we have uh, you know uh, trade statistics of uh, nearly 200 countries and uh, we served uh, customers of uh, 65 countries uh, thanks to the big data analysis, analysis technology we have uh, produced uh, several uh, you know big data uh, products for example this year we launched uh, a report the report name is big data report of trade cooperation and the belt and the road initiative you can see a lot of pictures inside the report. The pictures are all based on big data analysis uh, technology. And uh, this report are totally based on uh, millions of import and export data. It's very helpful for governments and uh, the uh, and the import and export companies. For example, the, the governments can know uh, where, the, uh, where the, uh, the products come from and where uh, we best uh, products can uh, export to and uh, which market needs needs the uh, our products like that and for companies they can find the real buyers and uh, you know analyzing the market all right and uh, now uh, recently a uh, uh, good news uh, the American beef would come to China uh, Chinese market so what do we do uh, from our big data you can see uh, the beef mainly from uh, American imported the most, and the, then the Japan, then China, and uh, China imports from Brazil and uh, Australia. So it's very important for the American exporters to uh, make sure they, they are a proper price to, 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 to sell their beef uh, uh, higher than the uh, Australian beef or cheaper than the Canadian beef. For our uh, normal uh, consumers, we benefit from them because we can enjoy a lower price and a higher quality beef from America. That's all. That's what, 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 what we do. Thank you very much. So we can see that the work of InfoBank, the, the big data, is of vital importance, yes. not only for customers, but also for those enterprises, right? Yes. Uh, especially for the uh, uh, enterprises who have the uh, which, which have the business of import and uh, export business, we can let them to know the the, the market, the market share, uh, the quantity, the price of certain products. Uh, it's very important. Uh, our rep uh, especially our reports uh, is uh, uh, like the think uh, think tank products to help them to make a, a wise uh, decision making and making, you know, smarter strategy. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Zhang Yang. We expect more reports from InfoBank. Of course, thank you. Thank you very much.
I think many of you should be very familiar with this famous brand Huawei. So now follow me to see what's going on here now. So now we can see there are many uh, products of this company here in this stand. So now we are going to the standard venture workshop. Okay. Uh, now, uh... So, hello. Hi. Hi. So, uh, could you introduce us some um, products of workshop? Yes. Uh, let's see what's interesting here. Uh, like this one, this is a uh, case here. It's a camera controller, you know. Um, it has a Wi-Fi hotspot in it, and you can connect it to your uh, iPad, to your personal computer, and also to your mobile phone. Then you can operate your camera uh, remotely uh, on your other devices. And after that, uh, you can download the pictures from your uh, camera to your other devices. And this one is case relay. It's the um, power charge system for your camera. Uh, it can uh, charge for your camera for a long time to work. And this one is a fingerprint uh, U-lock. Like she uh, is showing you that uh, it's very safe with uh, finger identification. Yes, it, it's, it can be used for companies and for your homes. And this one is paper soil. Uh, this soil is made by recycled paper, actually. So it's very environmentally uh, friendly and uh, it's very easy to uh, grow plants. Like you can see, uh, you just need to plant seeds into the uh, soil and you water it. Uh, and you wait, and during this time, your vase can be a thing of beauty, and uh, also it can improve the indoor environment of your uh, of your home. Yes, and now I'm gonna show you a smart scanner. This way, we all know. Uh, so this from, is uh, yeah. this is the smart scanner. Yes, called Caesar. We all know for traditional scanners, uh, it's not uh, e effect, uh, efficient and uh, it's slow, but this smart uh, scanner uh, can scan fastly um, 
by uh, about 1.5 per inch, and it can uh, flatten the curve. And also, it have uh, multiple models like uh, turn your documents from Word into PDF. So it's very uh, practical. Yeah. So, could you show us uh, how it works? So we let so scan some scan some paper scan some, now. Yeah, like scan this book. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's quite easy to scan a book. Uh, just uh, put the book under the camera, and uh, we can take a picture over here. Like here, we choose the scanning mode. This is black and white, and it's a flattened curve. It's a curve book. Okay. Uh, after scan, we can see the scan image here. This is scan image. So this book already uh, finished the curve flattening the book uh, smart card yeah. and the background uh, purification. And uh, there is no fingerprint here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this is a GPG format. And we can convert it to PDF and to Word. So it is editable. Yeah. And it's very convenient for, yeah. for people, especially yeah. for the students, right? Yes. Yeah, it's already commercial use in archives, uh, library, museum, and some government and small offices. Mm -hmm. So, uh, could I have a try? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, I should open up this camera, right? Now, uh, and then if I, if I want to uh, scan this page, page number uh, 108, yeah. so I just need to Put it. Can't be out of this frame. Oh, oh. This is the preview yeah. frame. Yeah. So it should be in the this frame. Oh, okay. we can't see the picture of this part. Okay. So, and then I just need to click click, click the screen. Uh, this is the scan button. button. Okay. Yeah. This one, right? Yeah. So you see the three laser light. After the three laser light off mean this page already been scanned. Uh, oh. You can flip the page and scan another page. So now I... Okay, and press again. Yeah, so now you have scanned two pages. Okay. Mm. It's very fast. It's very fast. The, the speed is about uh, 60 pages per minute. Wow. So you scan a book about uh, uh, 300 books, you maybe finish uh, within five minutes. It's very fast. Okay. So do you want to see other interesting products? Okay, we have sure. another one. Yes. We know we know Chinese love uh, rice, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can see this is uh, uh, this is a smart rice uh, bucket, and um, uh, it have an amp, and by this amp, um, it can up upload your uh, cost, your daily cost, rice cost to you. And once your rice is eaten up, it will remind you to buy it um, uh, three days in advance. And also, suppliers uh, can deliver your rice um, immediately to your home. It's very convenient for uh, housewives, you know. Yeah. So, uh, could you show us how to use it now? Okay. So, let's check if uh, this one is really magic. Yeah. And it uh, can uh, deliver a certain amount of rice according to uh, p your uh, uh, according to your uh, home members. Yeah. So let's try. Okay. Yeah. One way to operate is uh, operate it directly. Another way is to operate it uh, uh, on apps. And now he's uh, connecting it on the iDami app. And uh, uh, this is. Uh, 
this 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 one is the first um, intelligent hardware of IDAMI tech. Yes. Yeah, it's by a uh, manually operation. Yeah. We can set uh, a certain amount of rice to uh, deliver your rice. Yes. Yeah. You can see out and then this rice is for you, for yourself. Yeah. And then you can cook for your dinner or something. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Yeah. So you like our products. Yeah. Yeah, so we have seen many products from uh, the workshop, the venture workshop. They changes our life. As an authoritative platform for international collaboration and communication, this is fair. 2017 will cover AI, new IT, smart city, big data, cloud computing, Internet of Things, smart manufacture, innovation, startups, Internet Plus, cross-border e-commerce, and Internet and information security. Don't leave us. Next, we are going to take you to experience the virtual reality. Hi everybody, I'm Bike. I'm Peng Zhu. Now let's begin a VR journey. I know some of you had heard of what is VR, but I still want to give you a very short and brief introduction. VR is virtual reality. It is a kind of computer technology. And when you get a headset and you will wearing a, just like a helmet and you will set a screen in front of your eyes. And during that, you will see what you see is where you are really in. And during this, you can feel the real touching, the real voicing, and even the real smiling. It's just like uh, the 40 movie, right? Yeah, it's very fantastic. Now, VR was majorly used in the video games, such as the Universal Studio all over the world, and some of the projects in it was using this technology. Trust me, it's really very fantastic. Now, let's begin the VR journey. Please follow me. Thank you. Now, first, Let's meet Liu Yi, the sponsor of this VR, VR areas. Hi, Liu Yi. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, where, where project, which project should I to take? Well, then let's play the PSVR content place this way. Okay. Oh, what kind of project it is? Well, this uh, kind of uh, VR movie, then you can try to experience it. Uh, let, let me ask our, our assistant to like help you to head the headset. Okay, I will sit down here, and the first step, get off my glasses. <laughs> and then take on the helmet. What will I see? Uh, 
I'll be in another place. Okay. 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 I see two ETs. Oh. When you may find the site on this place, as a, you may find the right spot. Under the bow bulb, please let move your head. Make the black point to a right. Keep it, keep it, keep on it. All right, all right. And then one minute. Okay, okay let's start. Tell us what you see, Peng Zhuo. I just see a dark screen. I'm waiting for something fantastic. Oh, I saw a Earth. I'm in the cosmos. And by this time, you can look around. I see so many stars around me. Not people, not people, not us. So many stars. Yeah. And some voice was... Someone is telling my story, and I thought I was in the galaxy. But it's me who stand by your side, not stars. Uh, oh. Whoa, I see something sparkle. Wow. It's a UFO. It's just like a pumpkin. Something very cute. Don't you feel dizzy? Mm, yeah, a little. But it's just all right. Wow, I'm just taking the message. I'm set, sitting on some ice lake and I saw a very cute rabbit and it was coming here step by step. And I saw an eagle fly away. Yes. And where's the rabbit? Oh. And you may also look at the sky and the ground. When you look at the ground, you may find your feet. Oh, oh the little rabbit just stand beside me. It's very big. Yeah, it's very, very big, just like my sight. Wow, she's looking somewhere. Is well, the UFO I saw it before, and it was coming by from my right side and fly above my head. And the rabbit looks very nervous. And what will go on? It looks like a door was open and the rabbit was right behind me. Something was coming to your eye. It's just like an ET. Wow. But they can't say any language. It's exactly like the minions. One is light blue and one is dark blue. And they are look at me and yelling at us. Okay. Wow. 
our ego was come to our ears. Okay, it's going to end. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. It's really very fantastic. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. You feel dizzy? Oh, a little, but I'm still okay. Okay. Wow. It's just like in the Hogwarts, it's very magical. But I think you are a little exhausted. Yeah, because it's really the first time to see such this very new kind of technology. The UFO, the Ice Age, yeah, something it's, different, something strange. Yeah, it just around, it's around me and under my feet. Yeah. And just on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I think you should take a rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. And maybe it's time to wrap up this live show. If you like our show, please share it with your friend on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. Thank you for your watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, I need to show the pen.